In today's video, I want to show you how to install Alpine Distro, one of the latest distros available on Thermux Pirrut, with the desktop environment called XSC4 Desktop, also one of the latest desktop environment. I want to show you how to install different applications like Chromium Browser, for example, and also how to customize this environment so it looks pretty cool. And to finish, at the end of the video, I will do a comparison on the size of this environment with Debian KDE. So let's start with the video. As always, the first thing to do is go into my repository and I have added the Alpine Pirrut distro. So we are going to click on it and we are going to follow the steps. Let's go to the first step section and we are going to copy this command into Thermux. So let's open Thermux and let's paste all the commands. This can take a bit, but after the process finishes, we are going to follow with the installation of the Pirrut environment. We are going to install with this command the Alpine distribution, Pirrut distro install Alpine. And once it finished, we are going to log in into Alpine with the command that you can see here in green. So let's write pd or pirrut distro login alpine. Now we can follow the following instructions on the repository. So we are going to follow how to install xfc for desktop. So the first thing to do is update and upgrade all the packages available on the distribution on alpine with these commands. After the process finishes, we are going to continue with the installation of the needed packages. We are going to install sudo nano the desktop environment and also dbus x11. After that, we are going to add a new user. In my case, it will be called Droidmaster with the command just in right now. We are going to set a password and now we are give to that user the sudo privileges. We are going to edit the etc sudo else file with the command just here right now, nano and the name of the file. And we are going to look for the line about root user. You can search for anything you want with Control W. And here we are going to copy the same line but with our user instead of root. So just write in my case Droid Master and all that line and Control O and Control X to save and exit. After this, we are going to check that our user has the right privileges. So let's change to the user we have just created and we are going to do the Huamai command. We can check that without the sudo command, we see the Droid Master user and with the sudo we see root. So now we are going to exit the pre-root environment and we are going to download and execute the start script. So just copy these commands, paste it into Thermux outside the Pirrut environment and after a bit it will show the Thermux X11 window. So we have everything set up. Now I want to show you how to customize this a bit. The first thing to do is install it for example the XFC4 terminal with the command you see right now. And now you can go to the applications menu system and select the terminal we have just installed. Now after this I will show you how to install the Chromium browser. The same command is apk add chromium and to run it we need to add the no sandbox tags as in any other period environment. If you have this screen open just write a password that you can remember and the browser will start. So now we have chromium installed and working with internet connection. And now I want to start with the customization. First we are going to modify the bottom panel so we are going to add a shortcut for chromium. So let's add a new launcher and we are going to look for Chromium, but we need to modify the launch option. So after we add it, we are going to click on the options panel and we are going to add at the end of the command part the no sandbox tag. That way, when we click the icon in the bottom panel, we are going to be able to run Chromium without any problem. As you can see right now, we are going to click on the icon and Chromium opens. You can also change the order of the icons if we go to the panel preferences items and you can drag and drop the la different launchers so you can order the icons as you prefer. So after this I want to show you how to customize this and install it some icons and some themes. We are going to create the default folders for the icons and the default folder for the themes and now we are going to this repository you are seeing right now that you will have the link into the description of the video and we are going to install this. You can check all the previews. These themes are really cool. So uh, we are going to install it with the command that you see right now. We are going to copy this and we are going to paste it into the terminal. When the process finish, we will see that we have in the themes folder the new themes. So we are going to go to the settings, appearance, and we can select our new themes. Just take a bit of time and select the one that you prefer the most. In my case, I will leave the Noita theme as I like the purple themes 
and now we are going to look for the other repository that this user has to change the Windows menu. So we can change the buttons to minimize, close and that things in the Windows. So to install this, we are going to the themes folder into the terminal. So let's cd dot themes. We are going to remove the unneeded files from the other repository we have cloned. So we are going to remove the readme, the license, and we are going to remove also all the images with the command you are seeing right now. Now we can clone this new repository. So we are going to the top part. We are going to copy the link here and we are going to do git clone and copy this link. After the process finishes, we will see a folder called like the repository. So we need to move the content from this folder into the things folder with the command you are seeing right now. We are going to remove again the readme also the license and all the images files also you can remove the original folder because now it is empty so just execute the command just in right now and remove the folder now if we go to the settings of the xfc for environment we can change the appearance of the window so let's go to settings window manager and here you have all the things we have just installed there are a lot of them, so take your time and select the one that you prefer the most. In my case, I will select the last one, but there are a lot of really cool ones. So I will select my favorite, which is this one, which has a lot of different buttons. And now we only need to change the icon themes and also the wallpaper. Probably in one or two weeks, I will upload a video on how to customize excessive for environments in that. But for now, let's change the icon theme. So we are going to this page and we are going to click on full icon themes. Here you can select the one that you prefer the most. In my case, I like to sort by rating and I like the Tela Circle icon themes. Here you can just click on the theme you want and click on the download button. You can select the different options. In my case, I will select the Dracula themes, which has also some purple accents. So let's download this file. We are going to open a terminal in the same folder and we are going to uncompress the file with this command. So when this process finished, we are going to move all the different folders to the icon themes folder. So you can just use the command just in right now. So now we can select the icon themes that we have just installed. So let's go to the settings, appearance and to the icons tab. Here you can select the icon themes that you have just installed and it will be applied. Now you can just look for some wallpaper on the internet. In my case, I look for this in FreePick. Just download the image you want and put it in a folder. For example, I will create a folder called pictures so I can put there all the wallpapers that I download. I move the image here and we are going now to click on the right button on the desktop and select the folder we have just created. So let's click on other pictures and here we will have all the wallpapers just select the one that you want and this will be applied now i want to show you some comparison in size between alpine and a full desktop environment in debian for example to do a backup you can use the command just here right now pirut distro backup alpine and the output path to the file in my case alpine xfc4 you can check the size with the command you are seeing right now and this weights 1.3 gigabytes now to check and compare this with the Debian environment that I had you can see that this is almost three times the size so I hope you like the video don't forget to share like and subscribe